time though. Hello guys, welcome to Final Whistle, where we give you nothing but the best when it comes to football analysis, pre and post match analysis. And yesterday we had Ola on board where he talked about the Super Eagles job. Uh, Robert Olandi came out and you know wanted to vie for the post of the coach of the Super Eagles. And today we are having uh, my brother AY yeah, come to discuss yeah, about uh, to Harvey Reynolds. Uh, yesterday we saw the NFF come out to say, uh, we did, we are not discussing with Javi Reynard yeah. as concerning the job of the coach of the Super Eagles, and it is causing a lot of concern. But before we continue, let us quickly check the reaction on the X handle. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's start with uh, Edafe Matthew. I knew it can't be true from the moment I first saw it. Personally, no fit pay for Aja to uh, to look local where I be whatever in Lagos. Korokbe fair one go cheta private jet no be be that and um i am zion is saying i knew this can't be true because this guy's this guy coached saudi arabia if he ain't missing records and Nigeria can't afford him because some greedy people sitting in the nff look at their stomach infrastructure first before the legacy and then the final person abidemi is saying we all know they don't have the money and even if government gives them the money them go appoint a guavo hide the balance hmm. So what's your take on that, AY? Um, I think, um, especially Nigerians have, have, have said their mind, they've reacted well. Yeah. If we are not missing words, I think um, the Nigerian football community, I think I saw a survey recently, yeah. and it shows that like 75% of the Nigerian football community wants Ivarina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think if NFL would probably do us justice, let them just listen to the people. And the voice of people is the voice of God. But it, it has never been in... in in Nigerian team for them to listen to the people. It's that's, 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 that's the challenge. <laughs> that's the challenge. And then the, the question has always been, we don't have money. Mm. We don't have money. Yeah. We don't have money. And it um, it's, um, baffles people like us that at this point in time, we have always, uh, we have grown up to watch football. And then every point at which NFF comes to us is just they don't have money. Ever since inception. Ever since the creation of um, yeah. uh, the NFF. And it is not, um, not far-fetched when you have people that you put in the aims of administrating football, sport administrators that are not qualified to be there. Yeah. You have things like this. I think we have an accountant as the, as the NFF chairman. So it brings the questions, why are the people that are supposed to be involved not getting involved? If a Zambia can pay a that why, why can't Nigeria pay a Varenad? <sighs> now, what um, what angle I'm trying to look at it from is now, we are, might probably be having another scenario of Finidi and, and Amunike. Amunike now. Amunike is right now, they, they saw that in the narrative. Amunike, 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 Amunike. But a lot of media you know, outlets were congratulating business, him. You know, we're congratulating Amunike. Only for them to, to, to switch up on, uh, to on give us. us um, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> you called him Reverend King the last time. Uh, yeah, stopped, uh, <laughs> oh, you've stopped. Uh, I think, yeah, he's, he's, he has, he's still a legend. legend. Let's, okay. let's just give him that. Uh, yeah. give him that. So, uh, so I think we might just be seeing another Finidi Amunike play out now. Yes. And then you ask yourself, how, why are we having these leaks everywhere, every now and then? You understand? First, it was uh, Finidi saying he didn't say this thing. So, uh, a, lot, a lot of leaks now in the NFL. You understand? So, I, I believe um, they should um, probably probably try in as much as they can to give us that what Nigerians want, yeah. which is get a very good coach. A lot of, I, I listened to one guy said we call them jolly men. A mm. lot of white jolly men are moving around. Around Africa, looking for looking for, look, 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 look for jobs. <laughs> why should we be in Niger why should Nigeria be the, the dumping ground? You understand? We have qualified people. We have qualified Nigerian coaches. So if we are saying we are not going with our local or indigenous coaches, as so as we might probably want to call them, yeah, we should go for very good foreign coaches. And Everenard is the man. I think he's the best. He's the best as far as the African soil. He knows he, the terrain. He started from Ghana. Yeah, went to Zambia yeah. and for, for a, a short period, I suppose, 20, 2008 to 2010, yeah. thereabout, left, then came back again, where he did the wonders from 11 to 13, winning them their first uh, AFCON, AFCON. Yeah, in exactly. 2012. Yeah. But let me shock you, AY, I think this whole thing is about the money. Because Zambia, at 2011 to 2012, paid him 91000 per month, which so, is 1.1 so, $1. $1 million per Per annum. Per annum. So what was do you think? Separately? Do you think the NFF, led by Musa Guso, mm. would offer 
a coach that amount of money? No, do I the calculation I right now. I think they can, but they are not channeling their right priorities right. Okay. Now this is the thing. Um, from 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 my insights. Yeah. I think eighty percent of money that NFF gets from generate yeah. generate generate um, that the federal government pumps into into Nigerian youth um, Nigerian youth as sport ministry goes to NYSC. Okay. Eighty percent. Mm. And NFF is one of the parastatas under the Nigerian Youth and Sports Ministry. So if NYSC is getting eighty percent of what's left, what's left? So that means um ten uh, percent will have to be shared between NFF and the other parastatas. Other para- parastatas yes. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? So what are we talking about? I feel like they should have probably think outside the box box, maybe consider the sales of Jesse, some other you understand. Yeah, it, it makes a lot at, of sense. Yeah, look at the way other countries are doing it. You have probably get endorsements from other brands. Mm. Some countries in the world is other brands that will probably pay the the, the, the coach. coach yeah. Just give them that. That's just just to the deal with of that. They will can actually focus on uh, on some other things. But when you are not setting your priorities right, you are focusing on uh, how to how to go, you even get your own share of what, what is not enough. Mm. That's the problem. You understand? So that's the problem. That's where we are. That's why we are stuck at getting some standard uh, product. You understand? Without any out of doubt, I'm sure that even if they want to do a, f- uh, a fundraising, yeah. Nigerians are ready. To. But the truth is, how are we sure that the money will go to him? That's the thing. Uh, but but I, I'm, I'm glad um, Renard was able to do a. Let me quickly tell you, he did a pay cut for his country uh-huh. because he's earning right now $33,000 oh, uh, per month good. for the France female team. Mm. So if he can probably extend that favor down to Nigeria, because in Saudi, where he coached, mm. he earned 91 as well. Yeah. While he coached Morocco, he earned about 80,000 mm. per week. And so, this is his lowest pace so, so far in his so career. Far, yeah. And so, maybe he can extend that grace. I think we should be able to afford that now. The 90. My, hey, why? Don't do this. We should Nigeria. be able to afford that. Nigeria is still owing. You saw what happened yesterday. We are still owing. Yeah, yeah, we are you, know German, you know how much dollars was, was flying. That is the video. That is the video. That's the video. That's the video. That's the video. With uh, a lot of uh, a lot of, of <laughs> potentials and uh, a lot of currencies are flowing here and there. We no. can afford it. That's the truth. I'm not gonna lie to you. We can't. But the truth is, we are not setting our priorities right. That's why it pains me when I see ex footballers yeah. not doing the right thing. You understand? We have Samuel Eto in Cameroon as as their football federation. If your coach is doing adverse for malaria drugs and uh, bet, my bet, uh, well, I don't want to. But can one call is doing wonderfully well? Yes, he's just, yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we, are, so. we are supposed to talk about mm. the ones that are doing well. Yeah. But if we have more of them, mm. it's not just to sit down on uh, on, uh, on on uh, on a sports channel and then you're doing sports. JJ has been a businessman all his life. I'm, I'm not taking it away from that. That was why he did not go to Manchester United. He was useful. Been useful in some other aspects. You understand? We have people that can actually probably perform better. I'm not saying Guza is not doing well. At least, at least, get the ideas down. We are not supposed to, at this level, still be talking about how how expensive you you understand because I feel like what the soup will go sweet, mm. now money go go kill them. Yeah, understand? you understand. Whatever whatever you are putting into it, you are expecting the result. You understand. If you are going when you are in a we are in a particular situation that we are in a panic situation that we have to qualify for the World, World Cup, Cup, we have to get things right, get the right set of people, get the right set of mindset, get the right set of um, things to play because we, can, we cannot afford to miss the World Cup at this point. You understand what but I'm talking that, about? But that's the thing. You might think we're in a panic situation, but I don't believe the NFF feels that way. Because if they do, they would have been doing things, you know, more promptly, a bit faster than they, they usually do. Yeah. But they don't seem to follow that path. And again, I feel like um one of the reasons why they don't want Renard is apart from the salary. Mm. He is not someone that you can push over. Mm. You get. Yeah, there are yeah. coaches that when they come, they command respect. Mm. They come and they tell you, "I'm going to make this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this." Mm. You saw it when Morio came to this. They are telling you, "I'm going to sign this player. Sign this player." Are you going to allow me to do that? But, but is that been, kind of person. They've been trying this for long and it has not worked. So they, I don't know why they are still wanting. Welcome to, to Nigeria. Yeah. This is your first time in Nigeria. Because I'm, I'm, we, are, so we, are not, we are supposed to call them out. That's that's the cut 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 of their bluff. Yeah. Because this is not right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are in this situation because of. How they have treated the situation. Yeah. Now we have to try to do the things differently. Remedy. Yes, that's the okay. that's the point now. We are talking about not you not being able to afford to pay a coach. Now we want to miss out on a work up that you would get paid for if when you participate. Paid. You know how much you know dollars you are getting from the work up if you, you participate yeah. and you you, you, you progress. So what are we saying? Yeah. What are we saying? You understand? You know what it, it means to be at the World Cup. So at least if you get that pay. 
you will be able to clear some of your debts. Yeah. But I, I, I totally love when you talk talked about the Jesse sales. Yeah, that's because look into that. Our Jesse's has always, you know, been spectacular and that the love we had Obama and we had the last one when yes, sir, went to the twenty uh eighteen World, World Cup. Cup yeah. And so if truly the NFL can, you know, look for ways of talking to brands. Because we saw that in Michael Jordan when he when he was about, was about, about wearing the the the, the, the uh, Nike, yeah. he told them certain things. This, this this is what I want. So if we can discuss with this uh, brand, you know, are you gonna pay our coach? Are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do this for us? Instead of the usual uh, cut that they give us, mm. maybe it will give us a certain grace to get exactly. quality exactly. coaches. And exactly. Uh, thank you. I think the other uh, chairman will be pleased to to listen to you I on think this they one. Should, but I know America also cannot do a work of. Uh, <laughs> Of, um, of an account. No, no, no. It, I, I want to believe Guso is, is, is you I, know, I strongly is, want to believe. Yeah, okay, thank you very yeah, it's much. Pleasure. It's nice having you yeah. aboard. Uh, thank you guys. You've seen it. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. He believes we can afford whatever amount Renard's uh, salary should be. And then he wants the NFF to look into Renard's case. If you have not discussed with him before, discuss with him now so that let's, you know, get this job done as quick as possible don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow us on all our social media handles facebook youtube tiktok and twitter on final whistle 931 we'll see you again next time thank you